when did the, the spare talks really begin? And uh, how, did it, how fast did it sort of materialize once it did? Uh, it was the start of the shopping period. Um, I think that was Thursday. Um, we had uh, him on, on our list and uh, we spoke to his agent and it was at that point where there was some interest. And uh, it, there's a little bit of recruitment in that, in that period, so there's, there was dialogue and then um, and then we found out today. Where do you see him fitting in? Um, he's a really versatile D, uh, very strong. Um, you know, he can he can play like he, he can play in our top pair, if if need be. Um, uh, you'd like to spread it out a bit so he can be in the, the kind of the linchpin and the in the second pair. Um, he plays both sides. Um, Played most of the year last year on the left, but when he was traded, he went to his right. Uh, very versatile. He plays on first power play, second power play. Probably naturally a second power play guy, but he's he's he can he can complement a first power play. Um, so a lot of options with him. Peter, you you have do you have a feel? Like do you know when you're where now that you have this sort of courting period? Do you have a feel or a sense like? You, you know, you know where you're going with the guy. Um, you have a better sense than what you had before. I, I, I like, actually like it. Um, it. It gives you, as I said, a little bit of time to recruit and uh, a little bit of time, uh, kind of an initial sorting out. Um, so you get a little better feeling, but still, I, I wasn't, I wasn't entirely certain. And uh, and um, so you, you, you know, you, you like to build. Build stuff up to the uh, to the, the signing period, and then you hope for the best. With everything, with certain people are in, in both cases talking to these guys, it didn't sound like it took a lot of convincing to come here. Do you sense a change in the weather in, in terms of players want to do it? Well, um, y yeah, I, I, I guess so. I don't know what to relate it to. <laughs> um, like you, these are you know players that you work. It's, in my time here, we we get this this the staff together, and we. Uh, you compile lists and 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 then you th you look at those lists and see where they the guys fit and and then you go and you go out and you speak to these guys in the shopping period and and we were fortunate to uh, to get some things done at the draft so it, it took a little bit of the urgency away from it and uh, um, you know now we have we have 90 I've seen some of the reports and I'd rather have 90 than 5D um, and uh, so you know that that creates competition. And and um, uh, I'm all for competition. Can you just give us a, a general comment about what you've been able to accomplish in the last four or five days between the guys you added in the draft, the guys you added today, and you got your goalie, you got more defensemen, you know, guys with some more experience through your you know your third and fourth line. Just overall, did you think you'd be able to get this much done? Well. You know, it's it's always a feel-good time around the draft and and free agency when you when you draft people and you sign people. Just so generally speaking, you always feel optimistic. So there's a general optimism that I feel. Uh, we had a checklist and we went down it. Uh, and normally you don't hit on all the things, and we didn't hit on all of them. Um, but we, were, we 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 got a lot of the pieces that we wanted. Uh, you know, the, you, you guys followed us closely with the goalie stuff. Uh, there were some good goalies out there. We got a good goalie, um, and we felt we got uh, some good pieces uh, um, in addition to the goalie. And then today was today was a bonus. But you know what? We go into it expecting to get something, and if you don't, you're disappointed. But if you don't, you move on. And but we we succeeded in getting the the players that we wanted. Well, you know, there was there was there was a risk because there's there's you know there's we wanted we want what we wanted was a right shot center, okay, who was good on faceoffs. Look, the, the, kind of that was the general premise behind it, and and uh, uh, you know it's another tool that your your coach has. Uh, you put a right shot, left shot center on important draws. Um, um, well, there was some familiarity with with uh, with Mark. Um, and really, that was the driving force behind it. And I have, I have uh, time for Korpakoski. I always have. Uh, I know he has underperformed, 
but it gives us a it gives us a you know a winger with speed and some size and, and he can close and close on pucks. So it kind of killed two birds with one stone. Uh, Phoenix was looking, Arizona was looking for uh, a centerman, and they, they're they're familiar with with Boyd. Without getting into details on who, but were there bigger opportunities for trades, bigger you know stuff that might have altered the lineup a little bit? Like how much of that talk was there? And obviously, there was there was more around the draft, yeah. and I think I you know I think at that point I I I, I cut cut them off. Um, I have to be, you know. I, this is we've we've got some pieces. We, we we've we've put together something that we we think is a is 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 a shows progression and has pieces of players that we like. And it's it's you know it's easy to look at the board and and say this, put this guy. This, you know it's it's hard when they all come together and they have to play together. And so there's going to be. You know, it's great today. We all feel good, and it's good to feel good. And uh, we haven't dropped a puck yet. And, and uh, uh, the chemistry, I think, what, what I'm getting to in a in kind of a roundabout way is important. And uh, that stuff has to be developed. What I can tell you, though, from from uh, the two uh, people we added today, a tremendous character, both of them, tremendous character. And uh, um, so that, that, that goes, it makes you feel better about, um, you know, giving them these contracts and, and when you know that their character is, is very good. Six. No, you don't. You can carry eight. You can carry nine if you want. Uh, you know what? Again, competition. I, I, you know, there's, there's. I, I don't know what the answer is. We, you can get, you know, it depends on what happens here in the next little bit. It depends on on uh, some other things, and, and maybe it, it ends up in camp. Are you, are you happy going into the season with this roster, or do you still think yes? I would say I'm pretty happy with this roster. Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm. I guess you can never be satisfied, but. Um, you know, we set out to do some things. We did a lot of them, and uh, and so I, what I what I see it as the first step. We've, we've I think we've done okay. Today, today is the uh, is Connor's first day on ice as an Oiler. I, I know there's going to be lots of fans here that goes everywhere he goes. How do you, as an organization, try and keep things sort of normal for him, or is that a priority for you to just try and keep things normal? It is, it is a priority, and 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 maybe. You know, I've just again, you've heard me temper expectations. I'll continue to do that, and I guess not talk about it a lot. But uh, you know, this is his first day. It's probably a big day for him, and um, tomorrow will be a bigger day. There'll be more people watching, and so on and so forth. Well, like, no, I don't have to temper with him. I'm very happy we got him. Um, he is a first pairing defenseman, but you know, which means it's a tool that the coach has to put in the first pair. Doesn't mean you have to be in the first pair to be a first pairing defenseman. So, it, with him, it's about versatility. Like he's very versatile, and I, I mentioned the the different uh, different spots he plays in and and, and sides, and and uh, he's he's you know he's solid. He's a solid, very very strong. He's. Uh, He's a, it's just a solid player who has a good sense with the puck and, and can play in a lot of different positions and can defend and can skate and push the puck. He's, he's, he's got a lot of good things. Can you see Kirby as a top nine forward? Or do you see it? You said he's, the last couple of years he hasn't maybe done as well as he did earlier. Do you see yourself as a uh, Yeah, I do. I do. Peter, uh, regarding uh, Connor, what have you, you've seen him play many times or a certain amount of times. What are you kind of looking for during this camp? And is this a great opportunity for everyone to get to know him a little bit more away from the rink and just get him and yourselves kind of familiarizing with each other? Probably just that. We're like I'm not really looking for you know I look on the ice for him I look for the same stuff I look for on, on all the other players we met with them yesterday we talked about paying attention to detail we talked about having fun we talked about a number of different themes and he's in with the the whole group as far as that stuff and getting to know everybody players and staff and uh, so no different. Did you just ask you for Um, he signed with Vancouver. We 
attempted to sign him and he, uh, he signed with Vancouver. It, that doesn't mean we don't want uh, Bossois to have work. It just, it was someone that, uh, um, he, I think he was, he did some good service here. You have a, a camp with Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Darnell Nurse, some other really good players as well, but just when you see those three uh, at a prospects camp, does it just kind of give you a sense of Tingles. How much <laughs> There are three really good players. Yeah, no, to have to have players like that, sure. Like, um, and, and you know, a, a lot has been said about the offensive capabilities of Connor and Leon. I mean, the, the ability and the propensity and the willingness to defend from Darnell. I mean, that, that I find that exciting. I mean, he's strong and he's he's. I saw him his second last junior game, and no, I saw him his, his second last, his last, second last series. And he looks like he's grown since then. So, I mean, he's a he's a big, strong kid, and and yeah, it does to have these. Yeah, sure. At the same time, it looks like you made moves on the NHL roster that make it tougher for these guys to play here this year. That's kind of the idea. I mean, if these guys are going to play in the NHL, dry side on theirs, you're going to have to beat out NHL players to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Big thoughts. <laughs> Important just in terms of yeah, well, no. Well, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be dismissive. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. Um, it, it, the, the, I feel like I'm a witness, and I'm just giving you short answers. No, it's uh, uh, the, you know, you want to you want competition, and you don't want to hand anything to anybody, and 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 we want to we want to progress. We want to we want to be better, and. And if, but if, if if there's a spot to be won, and one of these young players win it, then they'll win it. Now, um, you know, and you got to do what you got to do. Now, having said all that, um, training camp's a lot different than than the first ten games. The first ten games is a lot different than the next ten games. So, you know, it, it's it's a progression, and and we'll see. But you know. Just because we've you can fill in a phantom roster with these players that it seemingly excludes those three. Or not the two, I guess. Um, doesn't mean that they won't be playing. Your witness, <laughs> Griffin Reinhardt was down here today. Uh, first off season, he's had a chance to train this sort of early. Looked pretty good. Just, I know the analytics guys out there are a little bit critical of the decision to step up and go over Adam. Uh, and you mentioned the other day that there's a possible, distinct possibility he could be on the opening day roster. Of course, he's on a two way on an ELC. But where do you see him fitting given now? Well, I mean, I would, I would expect him to be in the in in the opening day roster, you know. But um, other things have happened. But I would expect him. I mean, he's, uh, as I said before, when we acquired him, uh, uh, his size, his strength, his his head, his sense, his uh, his skating, despite what people say, um, he is, is stuff that we want in a big kind of anchor defenseman. So. Um, I haven't seen him yet today. I've, I've heard about some of his testing and stuff, but um, you know, he, he's uh, what last year was for his development. I don't really know yet. I saw him in the NHL. I saw him in the American League. You know, uh, you could take another defenseman of his pedigree and put him in that spot, and take him and put him in the NHL, and things may be different, right? So um, you just. This kid's a player, so he's he's gonna he's gonna find his way uh, when uh, hopefully sooner than than later. Thank you. Thank you.